What's going on, horror gang? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube horror movie channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button and subscribe to the channel, as well as hit that notification icon to get all the latest content updates to the channel. In this video, I talk about the ring on Michael Myers' finger that was spotted in the Halloween Ends trailer, as well as will this movie be a blend of Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, and Friday the 13th, The New Beginning. But before I get into it, let's hit that intro. I shut in six times. Okay, gang. So when the Halloween Ends trailer came out, if you were able to catch the Easter eggs in this trailer, then you know by now that there is obviously two possible Michael Myers that is going to be in this movie. And I say possible because initially in my trailer breakdown and plot synopsis videos, I had stated I felt that quote-unquote copycat Michael that is perceived to be Corey Cunningham was actually just, you know, a dream that Laurie was having that there wasn't going to be no copycat Michael Myers in this movie and that that dream was obviously just a callback to Halloween H2O. But there was something I missed that picked up steam shortly thereafter. Fans and fellow content creators noticed a ring on Michael's finger while he was stabbing someone who appears to be Laurie, but in that shot it's too hard to tell if it actually is Laurie. What isn't too hard to notice is that ring on Michael's finger. Once you really break down and cat break down the trailer and catch it, because it is hard to notice at first, being that you know the shot happened so fast in the trailer. Did Michael Myers get married? <laughs> of course he didn't, y'all. This is clearly not Michael, as his hand is too clean and Michael doesn't rock jewelry. Clearly, though I initially thought that there was no copycat Michael Myers going to be in Holly Halloween Ends. My position has changed as it is quite obvious that there is at least two Michaels. Yes, I said at least because I'm actually going to go a little further. There will be three Michael Myers in Halloween Ends. Yes, you heard me. I said three. And yes, I know it sounds delirious like Eddie Murphy, but let me explain my position on this theory. As we can see, the shot of the copycat Michael's hand on the left has the ring on it and the one on the right doesn't. But why this doesn't matter is because the shot on the left, Michael is stabbing with his right hand. And the shot on the right, he's pushing the door open with his left hand. But what does matter, in my opinion, is the size of these hands. In my opinion, I feel the hand on the left hand shot is a little bit more fuller, like someone who's heavier, a, a little bit heavier, than the copycat Michael on the right hand side. Now, I know the hand on the left is clenched around a knife, so you can make the argument it's the same copycat. However, I have another reason I believe that this is not the same copycat Michael Myers. If you take a look at Dr. Mathis on the top left hand side, who is supposed to have some significant role in this film, he is more pastier and pale skinned than Corey Cunningham, who you can clearly see has a slightly more darker and lightly tan skin tone compared to Dr. Mathis. And if you look at the knuckles of the clenched hand I showed in the previous overlay, it seems to be the same pasty pale skin tone that Dr. Mathis has. So what does all this mean, and why does it seem Dr. Mathis is actually donning the shape's mask and wardrobe? In my opinion, everyone, Dr. Mathis shares a lot of facial similarities to Halloween 6 actor Mitchell Ryan, who played the evil Dr. Terrence Wynn, who was revealed as the Thorn cult leader who was thought to be in control of Michael Myers. But as he found out, in the end, you cannot control evil. I'm starting to feel much like when Mathis has a deep obsession with his shape, but being no one knows what happened to Michael after the events of Halloween Kills, decides to experiment with a new kid in Haddonfield to keep the legend of Michael Myers alive by attempting to control Corey Cunningham and possibly manipulate him into being a copycat Michael Myers killer, or manipulating Corey enough to make Corey believe he's actually the one committing these new murders as a copycat Michael Myers when it's really Dr. Mathis who is committing these new murders in Haddonfield, framing Corey. Now, of course, this is just theory, but I don't think it's an impossible one, as Dr. Mathis could be up to three things here, molding Corey into a killer, framing him as a killer, or he's doing all this to draw the real Michael Myers out, because we know for a fact the real Michael is in this movie, as we see him battling Laurie Strode in the kitchen where she stabs his left hand where you see his two blown off piggies. 
Another reason why this theory isn't impossible is because unlike Michael, Corey Cunningham seems to be very much human, making it easier for Dr. Mathis to manipulate and control him than it was for Dr. Wynn when it came to Michael. Because as it seems, Corey doesn't have the evil entity living inside of him like Michael does, at least not yet anyway. I'm not going to lie everyone, I feel with Dr. Mathis' character and the whole copycat Michael gig that seems to be going on in this film, I can't help but feel this movie will be a blend of Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, and Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. I don't know how I really feel about it, I'm not really happy someone else could be wearing the shape's wardrobe throughout the movie, as I feel no one but Michael Myers himself should be wearing that iconic mask and wardrobe. However, I will say if my theory is right, it is more believable for Dr. Mathis to control Corey Cunningham than it was believing Dr. Wynn could control Michael Myers in Curse and could make for an interesting story and dynamic in the movie to say the least. But okay everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment and let me know if you think we will see three Michael Myers in this movie, two of them being copycats and Mathis and Cunningham, or do you think we'll just get two Michaels, one copycat, and who out of Mathis and Cunningham will be the copycat Michael Myers? As well as let me know are you getting Halloween 6 and Friday the 13th Part 5 vibes with this movie like I am. Once again, this is I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button and subscribe to the channel, as well as hit the notification icon to get all the latest content updates to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as well. Thank you for watching.